today's lesson will be a different lesson as you can see from the screen. We will present today the live mobile app on an iPhone, but it also will work on an Android. Uh, go to the App Store and download the Dado live mobile app as you can see over here in the screen, or uh, also search for Autotask, both will pop up with the live mobile, but live mobile is the app that we're gonna use. I'm clicking on it and it brings me right away already in there because it was already open. Uh, usually it has a face ID or it asks you for the credentials. Use your credentials that you regularly use in Autotask and that will get you in. Now, I first want to show you quickly uh, on top, you don't see any, any uh, my finger of course, you don't see any mouse scrolling, but the first option that I'm going to show you is all the way on the left upper corner, you see those three bars there. We're going to click on those three bars and that will bring you into the dashboard. And these dashboards are exactly the same dashboards that you have on your, uh, your browser. Also, one thing to mention while I'm here is that before you can fully use all the features of the live mobile app, you do need to enable it into the extensions and integrations under the admin section. So your administrator needs to do that. Uh, there's a checkbox in front of the resource name that you can uh, press and save. There's also a checkbox on the main line item where you can say automatically activate all new resources. So that's something that I just wanted to show you to you. Here you can crawl, scroll through your, uh, your dashboards and whatever dashboards you have. On top, you will see the dashboards that you have. And then the widgets are basically on the bottom. You can see you can scroll through them from left to right. Uh, right now, there's no data in this particular one. Be advised if there's a, a lot of difficult dashboards that you have created that uh, can take a little while to download them in here. But this is all your access to your dashboard. So you have all your dashboards, all your information right away at hand. To go back, you click again on that little menu item. And I'm quickly going through all the little items that we have over here to show you what is all there. The first one is the My Tickets. My Tickets will bring up the tickets that, uh, that are on your name. I'm gonna click on that particular ticket that I have in there open, and it will bring up the ticket. Now on the bottom, there's, uh, there's gonna be three uh, items that are gonna be uh, adding. There's a pencil button in the left bottom corner. Uh, that's where you can edit the ticket. My idea is just to don't use it. Uh, usually it gives a little bit of issues because now you have the ability to all uh, edit everything and editing a ticket is usually still easier on a uh, on the particular browser, but you have the option there. If you go to the plus sign, uh, the kind of the, the second uh, button on the bottom, the plus sign uh, will open up a separate menu and here you can add the regular items of a note, a time entry, an attachment and a service call. I'm not going to go into detail, that has been explained into the ticket, but you have access to these same kind of tickets uh, modifications that you have also from your, from your browser. If I go to the last button on the right bottom corner, the three line items, the hamburger menu, also will open up a separate uh, item. Again, you have the edit uh, button here, forward add a work list, but the additional feature from a live mobile app is the customer sign off. I'm gonna press on that one and it will bring me up a, a new screen. And this is a very nice hand. This is the customer sign off. On the first one, you have the name. The Bob Robertson is the person that's attached to this uh, ticket. If you click on it, you will get a, also a, a, a different uh, option of a different person that is already in the system. There's the email, and then you have the two options, use signatures and use password. Right now, I'm going to use signature, but you can also use the password, and then the person can log in with their credentials for the uh, client portal and can go in there. Today, I'm going to say I'm going to use signature. I'm going to press that one. I'm going to just going to sign something there. I'm going to say approve. And now what has been done is that this particular signature is captured into the ticket, is been added as a note and is viewable for everybody. And you can also set up a workflow rule where the particular client gets a copy of that particular uh, notification as well. As you can see over here in the activity, there's the customer sign off that Bob Peterson uh, signed off and there's also the signature there. That's the section of the My Tickets. Uh, from scrolling down, and we have the My Queues. That's where all the queues are in there. If you go in there, you can see all the queues uh, in a high level overview on what's in there, and you can drill down. There's a ticket search. If you have a couple of uh, parameters that you need to look for a ticket, you can enter them here. Uh, you can even create a new ticket from scratch by the, by the fourth option in the menu. The fifth item is the My Tasks. Uh, there's a zero right now, but also that's those ones you can see. Then we have companies, it gives you a full list of all the companies that are in the, in the system. You have them uh, sorted alphabetically. You can search from the top bar or to the right quickly go to the alphabetical line where you need to go. So you can quickly go to your companies that you need to have. And the same thing too for contacts. Also the same thing too, you have access to all your contacts in there and you can do on the top one, you can do a search. So great way to have access to all your information. You have your My Calendar too, and there's a little one in front of the calendar. And uh, the reason why there's a one, because I pressed a, uh, I have a service call, 
In this case, it was the day before. And as you can see over here, there's still a service call that I have on my calendar that I haven't completed. And that's why it shows up as a little red item uh, on the My Calendar. You have your My Timesheet and you have your work list and your recent items. Almost all the features that you have enabled on your uh, Autodesk browser, on your laptop or, or desktop, whatever you use, you now have it in the, in the palm of your hands, on this case an iPhone, but it also will work on, a, on an Android or also on the iPads. On the bottom, there's the three other buttons. There's the settings that will go to your Apple settings or your Android settings, the question mark for the help, and the last button is for the for the logout of the session, and that will bring you to the to the logout and that will give you a clean interface. I hope this is a good overview of the live mobile app that Autodesk has for you. Like I said, all the information at your fingertips, but especially the customer sign off, a very high and uh, handy feature. I would recommend to have all your resources, especially in the field, use this one because right away here you can capture the time entries and notes uh, on the fly and you don't have to wait for entries to come back later into the into the system when uh, when the users get back to the office and usually you forget. You still have the option to edit so you can put your time in there, you can do a quick uh, how you call it, a recap of, of the work that you did uh, while you're on site. Once you get back to the office, you still have the ability to edit those, those entries and to put a little bit more detail, a little bit more verbiage in there. I know typing on a, on a smaller device is always a little bit more difficult. And if you have a keyboard at your fingertips, that works a little bit better. So it's not a permanent thing what you enter here. Uh, you still have the option to edit when you get back to the office. Any questions, comments or concerns, please visit our Facebook group and leave your comment over there.